Legends Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be doing something we haven't done in a while, and we're going to be building a steam locomotive. We're going to be building Norfolk and Western number 1218, a 2664 steam locomotive. So let's get right into the build here. Our first step is to take out polished black stone blocks, and we're going to come down on top of the rails, and we're going to make a row of three in the center and another row of three on top then three on the front of it then three polished black stone stairs on the top like this then on the back one we're going to put an upside down outward facing polished deep slate stair on either side then a forward facing upside down polished black stone stair on top of that on either side here then we're going to swing around behind this here and put three polished black stone on the top middle and three chiseled polished black stone above those. On the center, on top of it, we're gonna put a sideways grindstone, and then crouch, and put a glow item frame with glowstone. On either side of it, we're gonna put a birch fence, and then two birch fences in front of it on each side. Then we're gonna take out black stone brick stairs and place a forward facing stair here and here. Then we'll come under it and put a backwards upside down polished blackstone stair on each side. And then on the top of each side, a backwards upside down blackstone brick stair on each side. So we should have something that looks like that. Then we're gonna come in here aligned with these very back stairs on the top. And we're gonna get a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. Then we're gonna take out a hopper and we're gonna put a hopper on the outside edge of each wheel here. Then above it, three polished black stone on the top middle and another three polished black stone behind it. Then we're gonna take polished deep slate stairs. Under here, we need five of them facing backwards, coming across. And this is trickier to do in front of the wheel. We need five of them coming across, facing forward here. Then a polished deep slate slab on top of the hopper on each side. Then I actually made this headlight too low, so take this grindstone off here in the center. It needs to be raised up by wood. So what we're gonna do is put it upside down, forward facing, polished deep slate stair in that center, then put the grindstone back on, and then the glow item frame with glowstone back on the front of it. Now it's in the correct position. Then on here, we're gonna put a dark oak sign at an angle with 1218. And same thing at this side, a dark oak sign at an angle with 1218. Hit both of those signs with white dye, and then a glow ink sack. Now on back of this, on the second layer, we're gonna put three polished black stone up the middle and three above it. And then two more on the top center up here. Then on the sides of it, at the front, we're gonna put three grindstones on each side up here. Then behind the grindstones, we're gonna put two polished deep slate walls on each side of the top. Then starting on the top of the back, where the polished deep slate walls are. On the top outside edge, we're gonna do our piston. So we're gonna put three polished black stone blocks coming forward from the back. Then another three underneath it. And on the front of it, we're gonna put two wither skeleton skulls. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. Start from the back, three polished black stone coming forward, another three underneath it and two wither skeleton skulls on the front. Then we're gonna grab a polished black stone slab here and put three polished black stone slabs on the bottom of each piston on each side here. Next, we're gonna come on the top of this, on the top middle, and we're gonna put a row of five polished black stone blocks coming up the center. Then two polished deep slate walls on each side on the top of it, on the back, and then another three grindstones on each side in front of that. Then we're gonna put 
a polished black stone brick stair on either side like this, and an upside down stair facing backwards like this. Then we're going to extend the polished deep slate walls back by one and out to the side on each side. Now we're going to come behind this on the rail and we're going to skip to the fourth block out behind the piston. So it leaves a gap of three. We're going to make a plus shape of polished deep slate, then a second connected one third connected one. These are for the driving wheels. Then we'll come through with polished deep slate stairs, put upside down stairs in these corners, and the other way in these corners. Then do the top, stairs in these corners, and facing the other way in these corners. And that gives us our three driving wheels on the side here. Then we're going to come across to the other side, Still using polished deep slate block and polished deep slate stairs here. And we're just going to copy our driving wheels over. So we have three connected plus shapes of polished deep slate. And then same as before, come underneath all the corners and put upside down polished deep slate stairs. Then facing the other way at the other side. And then do the top with right side upstairs. Just like that. Now we'll do the driving rods. So coming off the bottom layer of polished blackstone on the back of the piston here on bottom, we're gonna put a polished andesite slab. Then a backward facing polished andesite stair, then a slab, then a stair again. Then we're going to do five polished andesite slabs coming back, and on the center of this back wheel another stair. Then we're going to copy it over here. So a slab, a stair, a slab, a stair. And five slabs and a stair. Then we're going to take out iron trap doors, put three of them up here, then a polished black stone wall on top behind this stair. Then right here, skip one block forward from the stair, a polished black stone wall and a trap door there. Same thing here, so three trap doors up here. Right here, a polished black stone wall on top, and right here, and then an iron trap door right there. Then we'll do the next set of pistons. So take out polished black stone on this second layer on the outside edge. And we're gonna skip back so that there's one block of space, and then the piston. Do a three by two of polished black stone. So there's a block of space between that piston and the back of the driving wheel there. Then we'll come in here, three polished deep slate walls, and another three on top. Then we're going to copy across. So we need to get two rows of three polished black stone on this side for the piston. Then three polished deep slate walls on the top, and three on top of that. Then we'll put two wither skeleton skulls on the front of each piston on each side. Then come on bottom of the piston and put three polished black stone slabs on the bottom of each piston on each side. Then we'll do our next set of driving wheels. So we're going to come down on the rails, start directly behind the piston, and we're going to count to the fourth block out. Delete these three so we have a gap of three here. Turn this into a plus shape, a polished deep slate, then a second connected plus shape. Then a third. Then once we have that, come over to the other side and we'll copy our plus shapes directly across here. Then we'll come back through 
just like before on all the corners with polished deep slate stairs. And then the other way in these corners. Then we'll do the same thing on the bottom. And then the other way in these corners. And then get the other side on bottom. And then the other way in these corners here. Once we have that, we'll start on the driving rods for this back set of driving wheels here. Come on the center of the back wheel, polish andesite stair. And here I was just kind of checking to see how I did it on the front set. So I'll put a stair here, a slab, a slab on the front, a stair here. And then fill the rest of this gap with polish andesite slabs. Then, we're going to put an iron trap door here, polished black stone wall in front of it. Then a polished black stone wall behind that stair, three iron trap doors here. And of course, we have to do the same thing on this end. So a stair here, stair here, up here, slab, stair, slab, then five slabs here. Then an iron trap door here, polished black stone wall goes in front of it. Then a polished black stone wall here, and three iron trap doors here. And now the second set of driving wheels is done. So now we're going to come on this front middle here with polished black stone, and we're going to start filling this in the middle three high with polished black stone, starting on the second layer up. And we're going to bring that three high with polished black stone all the way back until it's aligned with the very back driving wheel. Just like that. So we should be looking something like this now. Now we're gonna come on top of the back wheel of the first set of driving wheels. And above the wheel, we're gonna put three polished deep slate walls. Then on the front one, come out to the side by one. And then we'll connect in between here where it sticks out to the side with a full row of polished deep slate walls up here. Then repeat it here. So three above this wheel, come out to the side by one, and then come all the way forward to where it sticks out up here. Then in between here, we're gonna put a grindstone and a brewing stand above it on the middle. Same thing on this side here in between there. Then on the top edge, on either side of the brewing stand, we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates. Same thing here, two here and two here. Then we're gonna come behind this on the top outside edge and we're gonna put four sideways grindstones at the front, four at the back, and two rows of three polished deep slate walls coming out to the side in the center. Copy it over here, so four grindstones here, two rows of three polished deep slate walls, four grindstones here. Now we'll do the trailing wheel, so come directly behind the back of this, on the very bottom, and we're going to put five forward facing polished deep slate stairs coming across. Then a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Put a hopper on the side of each wheel. Then behind that, we're going to do five backward facing polished deep slate stairs coming across. Then we'll skip a block back from that, do a set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, a hopper on each side of it. Then five backward facing polished deep slate stairs behind here, and five forward facing stairs in this gap. Now come on top of this in the center, do a line of polished blackstone up the center till it's aligned with the back of it, and we'll extend it out to the side by one on each side so it's three wide. Then above that, we're going to do a second layer of polished blackstone. So three wide, and bring it to the back of this. Then on the bottom layer of polished blackstone, 
one block in from the back, we're going to do po two polished deep slate slabs on the upper hip box, two polished deep slate blocks, and a forward facing polished deep slate stair upside down. Then a full row of polished deep slate blocks above it, and another upside down forward facing polished deep slate stair at the front. Then we do this reverse L shape of polished deep slate blocks on the front top. We're going to do the same thing here. So two slabs here, two blocks, upside down forward facing stair. Then a full row of blocks above it to the back, upside down stair at the front facing forward. Then on the top of the front, we do this L shape of polished deep slate blocks. On the bottom of the polished deep slate on the first block, a dark oak button, and then two on the next blocks behind it on top. Same thing here, one on bottom, two on top behind it. Now we'll come on top of the front in the middle, a polished deep slate behind the headlight, then above it, three, then another three, then one on the top center. Then we'll put upside down polished deep slate stairs on each side facing outward on bottom, and right side upstairs facing outward on top so it's rounded off. Then on the front of this, we're gonna put an item frame in the center here, and on each of the sides on the top, a skeleton skull. Then we're gonna come down behind it, on the bottom middle, run a line of polished blackstone all the way up the center until it's aligned with these polished deep slate blocks at the back here. Then on the side of that, we're gonna do a full row of upside down, outward facing, polished blackstone stairs coming all the way up to the front. Then same thing on this side, a full row of upside down, outward facing polished blackstone stairs. Bring that to the back of it. Then above that, on each side, we'll do two layers of polished blackstone blocks coming down the side till you get to the back of this section. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side two layers of polished blackstone coming all the way down the side. Until you get to the back of this section again. Then we'll come on top and do a full line of polished blackstone on the top center to the back of it. Then on the sides of that on the top, a full row of outward facing polished blackstone stairs. Same thing on this side, a full row of outward facing polished blackstone stairs down to the back on this side here. Now we'll start working on the cab section. So come on the back on each side on top of this polished deep slate row. We're going to put a row of five outward facing polished blackstone stairs to the back. Same thing on this side here. And then Above it, we need to do polished blackstone blocks. So five polished blackstone here, five here. In this gap, we're going to put an upside down forward facing polished blackstone stair on either side here. Then on top of that stair, two polished blackstone and a column on each side. And then behind that, we'll do another column of two on each side. Then a column of two on each side of the back. In the center of this, we'll do a column of two red nether brick walls on each side, and then fill these side gaps with glass panes for the windows. Then we're gonna come down on the bottom here, put jungle wood planks on each side of the front, nether brick block in the middle, and fill the rest of this floor till it's one block before the end with jungle wood and then three upside down polished blackstone stairs at the back. Up here, we're gonna put a polished blackstone block on each side, then another one, then an outward facing polished blackstone stair on top of that on each side. Then we're gonna put two polished blackstone blocks in that gap and two on top of the front so there's a hole on bottom. Then we're gonna light this nether brick on fire 
close the trapdoor over it. Then two levers on the right, one on the bottom of the left, L shape of item frames and compasses in them for gauges. Turn around, put a stair on each side for seats like this. Then we're going to grab polished black stone walls, put a column of three on each side, and across the very top, like that. And actually we need to change these windows. I'm going to take off this bottom three and change it to polished black stone. Do the same thing on the other side here. Then we'll come up top and raise all the polished black stone blocks up by one on each side. Then we'll raise the red nether brick walls up and the glass panes. Then we'll grab a polished black stone wall again, three across this top back piece. Then for the top of the cab on the middle three, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs, come out to the back by one, and we're gonna bring it forward up the middle three until it's right here. On these outside edges of it, we're gonna do a line of dark oak trap doors. And it comes out to the back by one as well. Same thing on this side here. And now the cab roof is done. Then we're gonna grab an oak trap door this center block, put in an oak trap door for a vent. Now come on the side here, where these three polished deep slate walls are, right here. Align with that and knock out the three stairs on top. Change them to polished black stone blocks, and then same thing on the opposite side. Above it, a three by three of polished black stone slabs for the first steam dome. Then, on the side of this, on the top two layers, we're going to do two rows of three black stained glass panes. Same thing on this side here. Then we're going to come up here behind this. We're going to put a dark oak fence gate and then a bell. Then in front of that steam dome, skip a block forward, two polished black stone slabs. Then. We're going to skip a block forward from that, knock out the stair on each side, put in a temporary block here, and on all three of these, we're going to do three groups of four yellow candles. Then we can take these blocks back out on the side, under the candles, and replace them with polished black stone stair facing outward on each side here. just like that. Then we're gonna come up to the front and start working from the front back here. So we're gonna come on top of the very front on the second block back in the middle and we're gonna put a polished black stone slab. So right here. Then on this side of it, we're gonna put two dark oak fence gates. Then we're going to knock out this block here, stack polished black stone in there, put a campfire in that hole. Above the campfire, we need to get two polished black stone slabs for the smokestack. Now we need to do the next steam dome on the front here. So for that, we're going to line with this polished black stone wall that's on the bottom right here, this first one and we'll come right up above it and knock out this stair. Then one on each side of it, change those to polished black stone blocks, do the same thing on this side, and then a three by three of polished black stone slabs above it here. Then in front of it, open a dark oak fence gate right here. Then behind it, skip a block back and do two flower pots. Now, come up in front of the cab here with polished black stone brick slabs. And above this polished deep slate block, we're gonna put a slab on this upper hip box right here. And we're gonna bring it forward till it's one block in front of 
these grindstones down here. Then we'll put two sideways grindstones in front of it right here. We need to copy that on the other side. So right here, polished blackstone brick slabs coming forward. And it's gonna come one block in front of those grindstones. Then we do two grindstones in front of it. Then we're gonna crouch and put two dark oak trap doors above the two grindstones on each side here. Then we're gonna come up front, blackstone brick stair here, then an upside down stair facing backwards behind it. Same thing on this side, blackstone brick stair here, and an upside down stair behind it. Then in front of these grindstones, blackstone brick slabs on the lower hitbox this time, and bring it forward till it's right here. Do the same thing here on the lower hitbox this time. We'll bring it forward till it's right up aligned with that stair. Right there. And actually we're gonna change this one to a stair right here of blackstone brick. Same thing right here, a blackstone brick stair goes there. And now we have this little walkway coming down the side. Now come on this top block of the front of the cab here, and we're gonna put a line of horizontal lightning rods coming forward, skip where these stained glass panes are, and then just continue it forward. Keep it coming here. And here I realize I forgot the stained glass panes for the front steam dome. So we need to get black stained glass panes here put two rows of three black stained glass panes on the side of the steam dome here. Then we'll continue the lightning rods coming forward till it's at the front here. Come over here, put our two rows of three black stained glass panes on the side of the steam dome. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, a full row of sideways lightning rods up here, just skipping over where the black stained glass panes are. skip those stained glass panes and come right to the front with it here. And now the locomotive's done and it's time to build the tender. So we'll come down on the bottom of here, right here put a grindstone, same thing on the other side. Then on the center two polished black stones we're gonna put two dark oak slabs like that on this side, two dark oak fences and a column. On this side, two sideways dark oak fence gates. Then we're gonna grab iron trap doors and we're gonna put three across this top metal right here. Now we're gonna come on the next block down behind the slabs and put five forward facing polished deep slate stairs. Behind it, another right wheel on each rail with an end rod axle and a hopper on each outside edge. Then we're going to do five polished deep slate stairs facing this way. Then we'll skip one block back from those stairs, get another right. Then we're going to skip a gap of two and another another right. Put end round axles on them and another right wheels on this side. Hoppers on the sides of all of them. Then we'll put five polished deep slate stairs facing this way here, five facing this way here, turn around, five facing this way in this gap, and five facing this way on the very back. Next we have to do the second truck for the tender, and for that we're going to use polished deep slate stairs. We're going to measure out four blocks and on the fifth block put a forward facing stair. So delete these four so there's a gap of four blocks between here. Put five polished deep slate stairs facing this way and behind it another right 
skip to another netherite, skip to another netherite. Then we'll put in rod axles on all these, and then another right wheel on each of these on this side. Then hoppers on the sides of all the netherites. Then go back to polished deep slate stairs. Five facing this way here. Five facing this way here. Five facing this way here. Then we turn around. Five facing this way in this gap. Five facing this way in this gap here. And now the second truck is completed there. Now come on top of this on the second layer. Start at this slab up here and we're going to fill the top middle three with polished black stone block. We'll bring it right down to the back of it. So right here, take out a dark oak stair for the coupler, turn around and stack it up to the second block, delete the one we use for placement and put a dark oak vents gate underneath it here. Then on each side of the back, put a dark oak fence gate. And on each side of this front, put a dark oak fence gate. Just like that. Then on top of this, we're gonna come five across this front with polished blackstone and another five above it. Then we'll bring two rows of polished blackstone all the way down this top outside edge. Right till you get here. Then come across the back end and back up this side with two rows of polished black stone block. Just like that. Then we'll grab polish black stone slabs here and we'll come down to the back. We're gonna put five slabs across the back. I did it wrong at first here. It needs to be on this upper hip box right here. So five across there. So it looks like that. Now we're gonna come back up front here. We're gonna put a column of two polished black stone on either side of the front. And then we'll extend the polished black stone too high all the way down. So you get right here, then come right across the back with it here. And then same thing, too high on this side here. And bring that all the way back up to the front. Just like that. Now we'll come up here in the front of the tender here. And we're gonna go one block in from the end of this. Two polished black stone on each side. Two blast furnaces in the middle. Then above where the blast furnaces are, we're gonna put five forward facing polished black stone stairs coming across. Then behind it, we're gonna do nine sideways ones coming back. And then come across this end facing backwards. And then nine sideways ones here. Then inside of this on the second layer down, we're gonna fill it all in with smooth basalt to represent the coal. You can use coal if you want. I like using this because it has a bit better pattern. Then on the top layer, we'll just randomly throw some blocks in so it looks like a random coal pile. Then we'll come in and grab a cobble deep slate slab here. And we'll throw some slabs randomly around in here just to make the coal pile have a bit more shape to it. Then, on this back section here, we'll fill the whole top of this three wide here with polished black stone block to the back till it's all the way filled in. Then we're gonna take red nether brick walls on this back center, and we're gonna make a pattern like this. And we're gonna put glass panes in between all of them. Then, on the top middle of it, we're gonna put three polished black stone slabs, three dark oak trap doors, on each side of it here. Then come back here, 
right here, put three polished deep slate slabs on the top center, three polished black stone slabs on either side of this little bunker window here. On the back of it, on the top right, a glow item frame with a glowstone. In the middle, open three dark oak fence gates. Then turn around and open a dark oak fence gate in the middle up here. Then on either side of the middle of this, we're going to put two oak buttons. And now we have a bunch of banners to make. So come into a loom with a black banner and yellow die. We're going to put a vertical on each side of it. Then a diagonal. New banner. We're going to do a vertical on each side and a horizontal on top and bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left, top half yellow, diagonal. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on top, horizontal in the middle. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal on bottom. New banner. We're going to do a diagonal then the other diagonal, then a vertical on the left. Then switch to black die, and we're gonna put a black border around every single one of these letter banners. And then we'll come place them. So we're gonna come on the side of the tender, leave two blocks of space, and on the third one, start spelling out the word Norfolk. Then we'll come to the back of this side, one block from the end, and we'll spell out the word Norfolk. Then once that word's done, we can get rid of some of these. But we're going to keep the letter R here. Then we'll come back into our loom with a black banner and yellow die again. We're going to do a vertical on each side horizontal on top and the middle. New banner, vertical on each side again, diagonal. New banner, vertical on the right, and bottom half yellow. Then switch to black die, and we'll put a black border around these banners. Then we'll come place these, so skip a block from that word and put and. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Skip a block and spell out and. Then we can get rid of some of these, but we're still keeping that R and the letter N. Come back into our loom again. Black banner, yellow die, vertical on each side, upside down triangle on the bottom. New banner. Vertical on the left, horizontal in the middle, Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. New banner. We're going to do a horizontal on the top and bottom, and a diagonal. New banner. We're going to do vertical in the center, horizontal on top. Switch to black die, and put a black border around all of these. Now we'll come back up, skip another block behind this, and use the banners to spell out the word Western. Then we'll do the other side, skip a block here, and spell out the word Western again. Then we can clear off all these banners and we still have some more to make here. So we'll come back into the loom again, still with a black banner and yellow die. We're gonna put yellow on the top left, then a vertical in the center, and a horizontal on bottom. New banner. Vertical on the top and bottom, and then a diagonal. We're going to do a vertical on the left and the right, then a horizontal on top, bottom, and the middle. Switch to black die, put a black border around these. 
And this is for the cab numbering. So we're gonna come up on the side of the cab under the window here, and we're gonna put 1218. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, under this window. Use your banners to put 1218. Then we have one more banner to go here. Come back into a loom. Black banner and yellow die again. Put a yellow border around it. Then a horizontal on the center. And this represents the number plate on the front. So we're gonna come all the way up here and put that on this item frame here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed Norfolk and Western 1218. Congratulations if you made it to the end of this. This was a pretty in-depth one here. I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.